So what is going on everyone? It's XO here and we're back once again on Black Ops 3. Now in today's video we are making the switch over to Zombie Chronicles. It has been 7 plus years since I've done a Zombies glitch video. It was actually on World at War and that's exactly where my channel left off. I believe it was on either Shino, Numa or Verruck. There were so many great glitch bots for Zombies back then. And it was kind of when multiplayer glitches were teetering off a little bit. You had COD 4, had some great ones. World at War was a little bit limited. And then after the elevators, obviously, Modern Warfare 2. Not all that much, at least that I can remember. But either way, hope you guys enjoy this Zombies video. I was pumped to make this. And there were actually some glitch spots, which would be good for multiplayer, not just Zombies. A couple of these are just AFK, you know, freeze the Zombies. But useful either way. My gift card giveaway for last week still going on. It's going to be announced in tomorrow's video. It's going to be using Gleam. So there's a few ways to enter. Just check the link below in the description. You know, either follow on Twitter, comment on a video. The more entries, the more chances you get of winning. Hope you guys enjoy now and let's get right to the spots. So here we are back on Kino Dirtoten. It's honestly unreal to be playing these old maps remastered. I did play a couple of the PC modded uh, custom maps like Baruch and Notchger and Toten, and they were pretty on point, to be honest with you. Those developers on PC Mod Tools do great work, so I'm definitely gonna hit up some of those maps if you guys enjoy my Zombies videos. This first glitch I'm gonna be showing you guys is a tough one. This one is really difficult to do. You have to jump at the door frame just as I do, and if you do it in the right spot, you should bounce up if you're spamming X or spamming jump onto another invisible ledge. Yeah, it's really odd, and if you guys try this, you'll find that you're able to land on that first ledge pretty easily, but it's almost impossible to get that jump off. I was able to do it this one time and I landed there. You have to move forward as you jump, but this ledge is actually a little bit bigger than you might think. I moved to the right eventually and I fell off, but still a really great spot. No zombies can hit you. I'm pretty sure dogs can't as well. Not the easiest ones in the books, but you know, this is like multiplayer glitches, honestly. If you accomplish this, you definitely got some skill. Now let's take a look at this from a couple different angles because I know you guys will try and you'll be like, I just can't get that jump right. I'm not sure who found this one either, so let me know in the comments. This along with the next AFK ones, you know, let me know and I'll add it to the description. Now we have a good old fashioned pile up in one of the main rooms. Now these zombie glitches really just don't interest me. Yeah, they can be used, you know, if you need to go away from the computer, if you're away from a friend and you can't pause the game. So, I mean, they do have their uses, but what's the fun in this? You know, there's really no challenge. You just go right up to that post, and yeah, you just have to stand there. You don't have to jump, don't have to do anything, crouch, nothing in particular. You can go right off and then come right back, just as long as the zombies don't get too close, they won't attack you. They'll just freeze like that. So this can be used for so many different things. These types of zombie glitches have literally been around since Notch Durant Toten. You did have a few on Notch where you could jump to different spots, but other places, if you just were in the right area, they would all freeze. So these are about as old as it gets. And yes, this one does work for dogs. Sometimes it's vice versa, it will only work for dogs. And that is this one in particular where it's only gonna be working for the Hellhounds. You just need to move off the left to this podium. And if you're off the platform, you should be good to go. Dogs won't be able to hit you at all. There's really nothing to it, as with the last one. Unfortunately, though, this one, if you do shoot like the Thunder Gun, you'll get knocked right off. You can get right on, though. Nothing more to explain there. Let's take a couple more views at this before we move to a true wall breach on Kino Dirtone. For those of you that are regular viewers, I know that I usually don't do giveaways with Gleam. I usually just select a couple people from the comments section for the last seven videos. But I figured since I only had like, what, two videos last week, that I'd give you guys more of an opportunity and just see how this goes. So follow the link in the description. Very easy to submit an entry. Now let's move glitch here. This is gonna be on these steps. So you wanna go into prone and move in the corner just as I do here. So it's kinda tough to get this. Sometimes you don't get it. And I guarantee you, it's not patched yet. As of May 22nd, it's not patched. A zombie will come right over your head and it'll drop you down under the stairs here. It did take me a few tries to get this one. I'm not really sure what it is exactly. I know that the zombie has to walk on top of your head, obviously. You can't just be swiping at you. And you try have to try to get into the corner as much as you can, whereas not prone inside the middle of the wall. And that's about all there is. You can't get outside of this one, unfortunately. But an awesome glitch found by Short Bus Rejects. I'm pretty sure he's found a lot of glitches ranging from Infinite Warfare to Black Ops 3 Zombies. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It has been great to do the Zombies glitch video, honestly. It's been so long. And I hope to do some more. So let me know in the comments 
what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.